Hey guys, good evening. Uh, today we're going to do a German guide for everybody. Um, it's been long awaited, so get, let's get right into it. We have uh, lots of decks here with Germany. Germany does not fish. Keep that in mind. So land one verse one. Let me fix my sound here real quick. Sorry about that, fellas. So land one verse one. We got two settler wagons. Always going to be your first card. Okay, guys, remember that. Second card. Germany has three options as a second card. Three settler wagons, seven hardwood, and nine crossbow. If you're doing a tower rush, you're always going to send your nine crossbow as a second card. Double racks defense, aka double racks expo defense. Seven hundred wood, your first card in age two. Three settler wagons is going to be your first card in age two if you're doing a cav start. Okay, keep that in mind. Now make sure always with Germany while you're playing, you're always going to do military eco card military eco card you can't do uh, eco military military consecutively because your population okay uh, German goes through lots of population room very very quickly uh, now that's the land one verse one deck okay you got the seven eight you know just try to follow this what we have here now we don't got the two factories in industrial because games don't usually uh, tend to go this far games uh, about 90% of the games finish or about 95% of the games finish by age 3 so uh, here's your age 3 column here and what you have now there's lots of reasons why um, you have this kind of deck now first reason as you can see just from this deck Germany is mainly military um, when you're doing a fast fortress, fast fortress with Germany is very, very powerful. I don't do it much myself, but it is very powerful if you do pull it off properly. Um, age 2, Germany has beautiful cards. I love to stay in Age 2 because they have such a great economy and military. Okay, and 9, um, Black Rider, always a mandatory card in 1v1. Always. Perfect. Very nice card. 13 Jigers, um, optional. I like to have it myself, but I'd say it's kind of optional. You could uh, dispute the 13 Jaeger for perhaps a fort, you know. Now, you can mix up this deck here a little bit if you like. For example, you could take out the four landskin it, you could take out the cavalry hit points, and you could add, uh, if you like, 600 wood, and perhaps, uh, you know, you could figure out another card that you like to put in there. Perhaps you could make a fast fortress deck. You put in the five dops, but you know I think it's all round. It's better if it just stays like this. That way the opponent doesn't know if you're going fast fortress or colonial. This is an all around deck. It's to keep your opponent thinking if he has to take a look at your deck. Water. Now, as I said before, water. Uh, Germany does not fish because they don't have schooners. They don't have the cheaper boats first card on water is always the two settler wagons second card then again you have three different options three settler wagons nine crossbow and the seven hard wood they all are equivalent to the land 1v1 strategies you only send the two caravels if you have a lake in the middle such as New England or if you're on Saguenay and you're fighting through the coast and you're, if you know your opponent is, is fishing, send the two caravels. You're doing a tower rush. Tower rush plus caravels, excellent idea. Because tower rush, number one, destroys the opponent's boats. And number two, caravels um, help you to further destroy his boats. Okay? That's the idea. If you're doing a tower rush along the coastline such as uh, Saguenay. Or Hispaniola. Hispaniola works too, just like Saguenay. Um that idea could also be brought to uh, of course Carolina and New England 2v2 uh, you know 2v2 I have my own Pacific strategies that I want to use for example this one here looks like all around cav, cav deck eco card you got eco here you don't usually use this in land 1v1 but 2v2 it's a great card lets you train seller wagons from your firms here you got dop, dop deck more dops Here's my traditional land 2v2 deck. It's uh, it's a cav, cav deck, you know. You uh, always for Germany in team games. The only thing that they're good at in team game is going Yulin. 
The build order is two settler wagons, three settler wagons, and then after this three settler wagons for the you're going to put 700 wood and then you're going to make a second stable with that 700 wood and you're going to make some houses and research uh, the second market upgrade for uh, gold make sure you're mining gold super fast double stable uh, Ulan okay now let's get back to uh, let's watch a game here now that we understood those I showed you guys the hot keys in our last videos uh, let's get going here Let's take a look. German. This one's a good one. Okay, guys, so we're going to go through this game. I'm going to show you all the details of what's going on here. So it's Germany versus Dutch on Great Plains, is what we have. So he's going to try to get that first villager out. He got it around nine seconds very, very quickly. Notice he put all his settler wagons on food first and then got that bison because uh, with Germany, Germany gets that first bill out one of the fastest civilizations after Ottoman um, as Ottomans don't pay for um, Ottomans don't pay for uh, <clears throat> their villagers, they get them instantly out of their town center at the start of the game now this guy will continue to hunt. Now these are great players, by the way. Um, top five. Eclipse here was top five during his time of this game. Okay, so we have Germany doing the regular uh, 17 vil age up. Now always with Germany, you will be aging with 17 vils. Always. Let's take a look at his decks for Mr. German. Okay, you can't check it in uh, recorded games. That's fine. We'll see his deck as soon as he chooses it here shortly. Ah, uh, there he goes. So, as you guys can see, this deck is very, very similar. Almost exact similar to what I had for Land 1 vs. 1. Two Settler Wagons, two, three, 700 Wood, 700 Gold. Now, as I mentioned to you before, as we were checking the decks, you could dispute the Cavalier hit points and put in 700 Wood if you wish. 700 food, sorry, if you wish. Now that's totally up to you. I'd much prefer the cav hit points than 700 food because I never get to a point where I do need 700 food. Also, keep in mind uh, you gather food the fastest by far. So, 700 food is not all that good of a card, it's equivalent to around 450 wood if you put it down to gathering resource rate so he's going to be getting that he's aging out with 17 bills here there he goes he's aging out with the 400 wood always age out with 400 wood is Germany that's not even a question that's always guaranteed no matter what you're doing fast fortress industrial uh, anything you're going to do 400 wood now he's doing the tower rush put all your settler wagons on wood he didn't do any market which is okay because he only started with um, one crate of wood now he's going to get that 250 wood and build a tower Dutch has hunt here and hunt here but he hasn't heard it too well let's take a look what Explorer is doing he's exploring his hunt now okay he saw the tower rush so he should be hurting this hunt here shortly eclipse has just uh, uh, there he goes he shot that hunt okay Germany ages no later than 440 okay guys if you're going to age up later than 445, don't do the tower rush. Forget about it. Okay? There's two houses as soon as you age. You age out with the 400 wood, you gather it, you build a barracks up here, and you put it on a control group so you can access it. Nine expo should pop out, five expo should pop out. You should have 14 expo and two Yulin ready to go. He's got a stable. 
I believe Eclipse did... He, oh, he did not scout that. He should soon. Okay. Now, as you can see, you have 14 Expo up here. He's going to get that Courier de Bois. Here we go. We got 5 Hussar. We got Pike and Q. It's a very close battle here. But you know, the, the Cavalry have pathing issues here in the vanilla. So you gotta try to exploit that. Now. Now he rescued that courier de bois. He put him on wood. He scouts the stable. What else does he have? Just the stable. He's building a barracks. Teal is building a barracks. Germany continues to make villagers and puts them on wood. You only have seven on food. Ever since he aged, he makes villagers and puts them on wood. Now his card order was nine crossbow, three settler wagons. Very simple. Three settler wagons is definitely a very good card. Um, some say it's overpowered. I think it's great for Germany. Six villagers, that's what it's equal to. They're two population each, settler wagons, and they're equal to 200% of a regular villager. So they're twice the um, efficiency. Twice the efficiency of, and they also build twice as fast as a regular villager. Keep that in mind. There he goes, there's a stable there. There we go, some micro here, some more cav. We got uh, Minutemen. Always group your explorer with your army. He sinks a lot of, he's, he takes a lot of damage. Now, when he sent those three settler wagons, he put them on gold, so remember that. That's how he's supporting his uh, stable. He also sent 700 gold as a third card. Okay, guys, so keep that in mind. That's the build order for today for Cav. Cav uh, Tower Rush, Crossbow, and Cav. It's very good against Dutch because uh, Dutch tend to have. Uh, Stable units and uh, skirmisher and hussar. So crossbow Yulin do a phenomenal job against that. He'll be sending five Yulin now as his next card. Now. First card, two settler wagons, nine expo, three settler wagons, 700 gold, and now five Yulin. And he only kept three settler wagons on gold as soon as they were shipped, and just a few random villagers. And that should call it game right about now with all these Yulins. Such a great mass. Okay, this is how German is to be played. You gotta really exploit uh, and take care of all your advantages as Germany. Take those two free Yulin, group them, you know, use them to your advantage. And that's game right there. So guys, you gotta pay attention to how the, this game is played, okay? Now let's take a look at the rest of his deck. He's got uh, factories and uh, well well rounded deck and uh, as you can see here he's still on his first hunt and everything and it's fast game very fast game so this is why I showed you this recorded game I liked it it showed all the variations of uh, Germany to be played with crossbow and Yulin. very nice now guys I'll make some future videos about how to do defensive strategies Germany now this is versus autos now keep in mind this tower rush only to be used versus defensive civs okay
ports British Dutch okay those are some examples of defensive sieves that you could use tower rush against and if he has bad hunts you could use tower rush versus autos you want to do defensive which I'll show you guys in some uh, the next video so stay tuned subscribe like the videos I appreciate it very much guys and if you want to join PK clan or if you have uh, you know any interest uh, do contact me and uh, keep in touch thank you very much guys and take care thanks for watching